Yeah, well, obviously, um, the old man being a cop for 27 years, I think it's a great um, thing we're doing this week, being able to thank the first responders. Um, I suppose I see it from the different side of it with me, old man. Um, I see the hours he, he would, used to put in, well, he still does, but I haven't lived at home in a while now. But when I was younger, the hours he would put in, the night shifts and, um, you know, coming home and making sure I still got to see to my footy games and he got to see every game I played. And um, so I sort of seen the other side of it all. But, yeah, just to be able to thank the, the police force and um, all the first responders and the great work they've been doing um, for years now. So, yeah. Over to you guys. Blake, um, what, what is it like seeing recognition of first responders? Like you said, you saw, you saw your dad doing it for all those years, but like, what does it mean for you to see it uh, for a celebration for the community? I think it's great. Um, as Daryl was saying, I don't think, or sorry, Simon was saying, they don't um, probably get the recognition they really deserve. Um, you see a lot of negative things um, in the new, uh, in news sometimes about um, police officers and, and stuff like that, but I think we can uh, really shine a light on it and um, show all the great things they're doing for the community. And um, yeah, I, I suppose being a, a son of a police officer, um, you see the toll it takes on, um, you know, my old man and, um, you know, coming home, not, not having a lot of sleep sometimes and um, they do a lot of hard work. I, I think that's unseen. So, um, yeah, great opportunity for us to thank them this week and um, hopefully we can con continue that. Um, just uh, in terms of, you know, what, growing up sort of with your dad, what would you sort of say to your dad now as far as thanking him from a community perspective? Um, I suppose I never really seen my old man as a as a police officer. He was always a, a father to me. Um, but I'd always I'll just he knows I, I thank him a lot of, all the time about it. But probably the main thing when he was um, getting home from a night shift on a sad day or something and getting up, having maybe an hour or two hours sleep, but making sure I got the footy and um, giving me this opportunity um, to be where I am today. Um, he, and never. Never put being a father aside of being a cop as well, but having a really good work-life balance with that. And um, I know he loves his job, and um, a lot of the cops here today have um, worked with him as well. So it's funny they all meet each other, and um, every time I see a cop, they always say they know my old man and um, talk a bit of talk a bit of smack about him. So yeah, I can't really um, yeah get in trouble. <laughs> did you ever consider being a police officer growing up if you wasn't going to work out? Yeah, I did actually. When I was about 16, 17, I um, put in for the cadets, um, the cadets program they have and um, looked at doing that. Um, and then obviously with footy, the direction I went there. So um, that's a, in the back pocket at the moment. Um, it still plays my mind if I want to do that. So, yeah. On a footy front, um, a bit of carnage on the weekend with the a few players getting injured. What was the uh, what was the message from Justin after the game? Oh, it was probably more about the opportunity for the the next guys coming up. Um, yeah, it was a pretty, you know, two three minutes. I think we lost three or four guys, um, but we got some guys coming back from injury this week. Um, they'll be hopefully get through training fine today, and then um, we'll get some players back. Um, but yeah, it's really all about opportunity for some guys um, that might not have had it before. So yeah, it's great um, great chance for some players. Who's, um, who's, who's looking good as far as coming back this week? I know that obviously you don't ultimately make the, the decision, but as far as on the training track goes, who's been looking good? Oh, well, hopefully we get Alex Pierce back in. He, we, we lost two of our key backs on the weekend, so um, we'll definitely need to fill that void. Um, and he, he's, he's had a great two, three weeks now in the, the waffle, um, getting his body right and playing some big minutes. So um, I expect he'll, he'll be ready to go this weekend. Um, and there's a few other guys that I think are a test as well, like Matt Tabernar and stuff. So he, he'll be a big in for us. Um, yeah, so we've got a few guys there that have played a lot of footy and um, ready to go. Have you spoken with a, a few of the guys and just sort of checked in with how they're going? I mean, in particular, um, you know, Matt Hart, Brennan Cox, um, you know, is there quite a, a list? Yeah, um, to be honest, they're in, they're in quite high spirits still. Um, I don't think Coxie's had a... Um, a serious injury before, um, but we've had great results with his sort of injury um, in the past with the, with the ha hamstring. So um, I know the physios are, are great with that sort of stuff, and they'll get him right um, as quick as they can. And then Fife, he's um, obviously had a few issues with shoulders before, but he's he's come back strong, and um, 
he'll hopefully get back after the bye. Um, and then, yeah, he'll be right to go. But everyone's in still quite high spirits. Um, and, I mean, obviously it's still an opportunity um, this week going head-to-head -head, um, with the, the Suns. Um, Matt Rowan coming back in. Uh, has that been a bit of a topic of discussion? Yeah, oh, I suppose we feel a little bit unlucky. He's a star, so, um, yeah, it, it, I hope he plays. Um, he's, a, he's a great player and um, it, you never want to see guys miss through injury, so hopefully he can get his career um, started back up and... Um, yeah, he's great to watch, and I'm sure we'll be. If he plays, we'll be um, making sure we put a bit of work into him. Realistically, how much does the sort of five or six changes make to team cohesion this week? Oh, I, suppose, I suppose it's going to be tough. Um, you, uh, you, you have a lot of changes like this, and um, you got to move pieces around. But I think the the way JL coaches and um, sets our team up, it's all about just playing your role and. Um, he'll put guys in positions they know what to do and how to play their role. Um, so no one's going to be sort of out of position, but they'll be ready to go and we'll make it work.